is Fort Wayne's NBC News at 11. He told me, you need to call Fort Wayne Animal Care and Control. They have chemo, and I'm like, what? You'd be shocked too, right? Because nearly a decade after the first word that this dog went missing, a Fort Wayne dog is finally back with his family. Good evening, everybody. I'm Linda Jackson. And I'm Tom Powell. We're glad you're here tonight. So how did this happen? Where was the dog the entire time? A lot of questions tonight, but as Fort Wayne's NBC reporter Carly Van Cleve reports, the family is just glad that the dog is back home safe and sound. Tom and Linda, the Seiler family first got their dog Chemo when he was just a puppy. And two years later, he disappeared and they spent eight years looking for him. But Tuesday, they received exciting news. He's it. This is Chemo, one of Kara Seiler and Kaylee Kuntz's first dogs. They say he became a part of their family when he was just a puppy. He's a blue American Bulldog pit mix. When he was two, he disappeared. We had always hoped. We never really stopped looking. Um, we were always watching, you know, found pet posts and all over just to see if any might have been him or Chemo. Siler says they searched everywhere for him. You need to call Fort Wayne Animal Care and Control. They have chemo. And I'm like, what? <laughs> what do you mean they have chemo? He's like, they have chemo. You need to call them. That search finally came to an end Tuesday. I think Kaylee and I cried the entire way from Auburn to Fort Wayne. <laughs> Eight years later, they were reunited. I can't describe it. <laughs> I can't. And he knew who we were the second we walked in the door. So that's what made it even more surreal. It is just such an important thing to get your pets microchipped because it's a permanent form of identification that will never fall off, never go missing, and never leave. Holly Pasquinelli with Fort Wayne Animal Care and Control says chemo was brought in as a stray, and they scanned him for a microchip. In my career working here, this is the longest reunion that I've seen happen because of a microchip. So we were just so happy that this dog that had been missing that they probably given up hope on was finally able to make his way back home. Siler says in those eight years, they began their own animal rescue center called Canine Haven out of Waterloo, and they microchip all of the rescues there. So a family can one day reunite with their pet just as they did. Never, ever, ever give up. Well, Siler says she can't emphasize enough the importance of microchipping your pets and keeping that information up to date. You can get